Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. <laughs> Can you stop? Can you pause it? Can you stop? All right, stop. Be an adult. Welcome back. For God's sake. I'm an adult boy. It's not even funny. Yeah, I think I was pretty good. No, it's not. I think I, I, I went a little too hot at the beginning. I should have waited for you to... Shoulda, coulda, woulda. You want to restart? Let's start it back up. Pretend that you don't know what's going on. Hey, welcome back to the basement yard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see who could go the longest without laughing. All right, go, right, go, right, go, right, go, right, go. Right, well, I'm, I'm not going to win. I'm not going to win. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Okay, go. Right. Oh. Real showman, babe. Holy shit, oh, man! That one, that one part like asked a question. February, right? You'll be thirty in February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay, July. I'll be thirty in February. July. Yeah. <laughs> Adults, welcome back. <laughs> What's going on? How many kids do you have? Two. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> Still funny. That's what it, Still hits. I. It's so weird. I go back and forth. Uh, other tabs I have up here, uh, by the way, big fat old thing. And then something that we're going to talk about, which is electric. Don't. Why'd you Google big fat old? <laughs> Why did you Google big fat old? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. It's good to be back. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, for, so for you guys that know, no. no one knows. Just us. For those of you guys that don't know is what I was going to say. What? We're, uh, this is recording before Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the last time we're going to see each other before Thanksgiving. So thanks. Yeah. Or whatever. You're welcome. <laughs> Why is it called Thanksgiving? I don't know. I, I think are we people... Thankful are, for, are we giving it? I wouldn't give anything to anyone. I... Well, we know. Uh, I, <laughs> I think it's because, like, at the beginning, they were just like, yo, like, we'll give you this if you give us this. Like, so they were like, yo, give us food, we'll give you smallpox. Yeah, that's what they did. That was an even exchange, uh, bingo, apparently. Bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah. Uh, and Isn't that, like, a real thing? Like, smallpox blankets or yes, something? Yes, 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 yes. And you know <laughs> well, where I learned that from? How do you put smallpox on a blanket? <clears throat> You call that, that was you the call most sexual like <laughs> cough. <sighs> what do you want me to say? Everything I do is sexy. I don't know about all. That. Uh, well, no, it is. Um, but you know what? Just for Thanksgiving this year, when people, because everyone does it, and and uh, there's actually more about it on our Patreon episode. But like when people go around, they're like saying what they're thankful for. Just say you're welcome. Just start. Just be that person. Just don't be like I'm thankful. For, just be like you're welcome. I'm thankful for my friends, family. Next. And, yeah. Do, does your family do something like that? Like, oh. Oh, wait, like at dinner, they're like, everyone go around. We didn't do it this year uh, with my side. Of, normally, it was my side of the family because you know how my side of the family is. You oh, know, I know how your mom is. Yeah, yeah. And, and my dad every year would be like, <sighs> "Does he see a crier?" My dad is a crier. Dog. I'm thankful for the yeah. kids. Yeah, you ever see that SNL skit where they're like the cops at the you know the daughter's birthday and none of them can talk? That's how my dad. Oh is. yeah, <laughs> my dad is just like. Let me make sure this is out of the shot. My dad will just be like, uh, "Thankful for you guys and." Uh, it's all we got. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was like, shit. You know, like, pull. it was cute, like, the first, like, four times when I was, like, 12, and I was like, my dad cries? Yeah. Now? Like, dad, suck it up. Figure it out. Yeah, dad. You don't, there's not more to cry about now. Yeah. If anything, less. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't care about us anymore. Right. So. It's about the grandkids now. Exactly. And, you know, you don't cry for grandkids. Not you're yet. You're just like, oh. Yeah, you're like, I'm happy. Yeah. My uncle, uh, we do Christmas Day at his house. This guy gives a speech every year. He says the same things. Which uncle? My uncle Tommy. Okay. And he uh, cries at the same part every single time. He's always like, it's always nice. This year he'll probably just be a mess because we couldn't do it last year because of COVID. Oh, yeah, the big guy. Uh, the big, uh, you know, hello. Um, but he uh, he always gives a speech. He's like, it's so nice. We're so honored to have. He doesn't even sound like that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is We're so fucking honored yeah. to have you bastards. <laughs> Um, he's like to have you guys here and uh, you know mom and dad because they're uh, dead. My, yeah, they're dead. 
Ben dead, by the way. <laughs> Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Uncle Tommy. No, but it's always funny. But so we always just like sit back. Did I tell and you like, I saw one of your uncles not long ago? What? Who? Uh, uh, I don't know if you want me to say their name. The fuck? Uh, your there? uncle Mike. Where the hell did you see him? It was at a wedding, and he was there. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my cousin's wedding. Shout out. Did you say hello? Yeah, my mom. Like, did he know who you were? No. <laughs> He did, but didn't. And I'll tell you why. Because my mom, you know, my uncle grew up with your uncle oh. in Astoria. Yeah. That's why he was there. Because it was my uncle's daughter, my cousin getting married. Got it. And uh, I walked up to him. He was like, and my mom was like, it, my, Mike is here. And I was like, oh, who the fuck is okay. that? <laughs> no, and I knew who she was referencing. She's like, you gotta. And I was like, do I? Yeah. You know, and I went up and he was wearing like a Fred Flintstone tie or something stupid. Oh, confirmed. That's my uncle Mike. <laughs> I mean, yo, this guy shows up. I won't talk too much shit because I also have a Fred Flintstone tie. But, like, I wouldn't wear it to a wedding, man. This guy, I'm telling you right now, I hope he listens to the podcast. He doesn't. He probably doesn't. But he might catch a clip here and there. Yeah. Um, but, Stop reading. No, I'm not reading. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just, like, zoning out. Okay. Uh, you think I could talk and read at the same time? Like, I'm not one of those people. Yeah, you're not smart. Um, but anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, like, sometimes we'll be at... I think one time my brother, when he was doing the Olympic thing, was, like, raising money and had this, like, dinner thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he showed up in, like, sandals and a bald eagle t-shirt. That's... F- f- sorry. Yeah. Don't you dare talk shit about that. That is incredible. It was a, a bald eagle t-shirt? Yeah. It was, it was like, a, a polo shirt kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bowling, bald, a it bowling a, shirt. Definitely not a bald eagle shirt type well, of event. I mean, you know? it's the more electric, the better. You know, bald eagles now have just completely surpassed being patriotic. They're now just about being rock and roll. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but yeah, he was like, "Ah, oh, you doing uh, the videos of Joe? I'm like, yeah. One time he pulled I don't hear from him. And I was like, okay. And he's like, tell him I said I. I was like, <laughs> I don't you're hear- his uncle. <laughs> Tell him I said hi. Damn, you didn't even pass that along. When was his fucking wedding? Oh, it was months ago. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> it was like a month ago. Take it easy. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, fun wedding though? I mean, you don't need me to say, tell you to talk to your uncle. Talk to your fucking uncle, Joe. Yeah, I mean, he's big into Marvel. You guys would have had a long conversation. I probably should have. I probably, he almost named his son Thor. That would have been cool and dumb, but I would have... I, I actually know someone whose middle name is Thor. Are they a uh, Viking? Uh, no, they were a uh, potential NFL kicker. Nice. Didn't you almost name your daughter Thanos? Yeah, uh, no, close. Real close. If it was a boy, possibly Thanos. Yeah. Uh, daughter was almost Valkyrie. I kind of like that. I think it's awesome because think of everything you can do with it. Val. Kyrie. Re. That's it. Re, re. I mean, think of all the cute, like, Ruby. You have Ruru, Ruby Doo, Scooby Doo, Booby Doo, Little Booby Ruby. Like, all the things, like, you can come up with. For Valkyrie, you can come up with a million things. I guess so. I yeah. had Becca on board until we got like close to the naming part of like pregnancies, and she was like, "No." Yeah, she's like, "I'm over that." She came out of it. She's like, "You and your stupid superhero names." Uh, well, yeah. Tell her to take you. You take it easy for thinking she thinks that way. All right. Okay. I'm not saying that we've had a conversation about your stupid hero, stupid hero, superhero names. Stup- but Becca is also one of those people <laughs> that likes like traditional names. Like, let's name our son. You know, like a bu- Frank or Joe. Yeah, no, like Charlie or like you know, hey. like a stupid name. We just named all the people in this room. <laughs> <laughs> stupid yeah. names. Yeah. Uh, but you know, make them cool names now. Like, there's a guy in SNL. His name is Aristotle. Pretty bowler. I mean, that's a heavy name. I don't think so. Yeah, I do. How you doing? Good. Uh, I had a good weekend because I went to my first gay bar. Did you? Yeah. Welcome yeah. to the world of gay bars. All right. I've been a one. Yeah, he's gatekeeping gay bars. <laughs> I am the gatekeeper of the gatekeepers. Hey, that's a gatekeeper. Um, no, but we went because we went to trivia. Um, you went to trivia at a gay bar? No, no, no. It wasn't oh, trivia I was at the say, gay that's, bar. That's electric. We went to trivia at a different bar, and then Pete, uh, his new client, is that bar over here. Mm-hmm. So he's like, oh, I have to stop by there. He's like, can you just drop me off You know, there? Because I was driving. Um and then I was like, no, nah, I'll just, I'll go. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was driving Espo and Lynch too. And they were like, yeah, fuck it, we'll all go. I was like, all right, cool. What a time. So I drove and I parked here and then we went to the gay bar. And let me tell you something. And I'm not, and this isn't stereotyping, but it is gay in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go like yeah. Anderson Fox. What's his name? The Co- Silver Anderson Fox? Cooper? That's him. Anderson Fox? <laughs> What? Yeah. 
Anderson Cooper to like, uh, what's that guy's name? Elton John. Oh. Give me, did you just forget El, Sir Elton's <laughs> no, name? No, there was someone else I was going to name. Nathan oh. Nathan something. The You know, the guy that played Timon in uh, Nathan Lane. Oh, Birdcage. Birdcage. That's a great Mouse, movie. <laughs> Mouse Hunt. Uh, wow, that's a good movie, too. That's a good movie. Yo, The Birdcage, honestly, is probably in my top 20 movies, but it's near the end. But I really like that movie oh, a okay. lot. Okay, all right. I, that's not what I would have like expected for you. I like The Birdcage a that's lot. That's a good movie. Damn, he was born in Jersey City. Damn, what's up? Good for him. Um, um, you're not from Jersey City. I am now. <laughs> Apparently. Um, all right. So, yeah, I walked into the gay bar, and uh, they had a drag queen host. Let me tell you something like this also, right? I would say that's not really like a gay bar that I would consider to be like a – that's a dive version of a gay bar. I may, By the way, I have no idea. Yeah. But it was my – You've the, been to one. Right. An only one. But like I've heard stories and seen stuff and whatever. I mean I'll tell you some stuff I've seen from a gay bar. Right. And like some places are more like uppity with like music and dancing whatever. This is more of like a divey kind of thing. Okay. So it wasn't like the crowd was like – you know, going crazy. It was also Wednesday. Um, but there was a, a, a drag queen host who was fucking hysterical. Oh, yeah. And the bartender... So, obviously, they had a microphone. And then the bartender also had a microphone. And they so were just, just going back and, back and forth. And they're both hilarious. Genius. And it was just so funny. And then they were hosting, like, this game thing. It was like a... It was actually kind of like... I don't even know how the fuck it works, but you like log in on your phone and there's a TV and then you like, it's like a, yeah, it's they like have half those, like, trivia, half like other shit. Yeah, they have that like Buffalo Wild Wings and shit like that. Stop it. They do. Oh my God. You didn't want to go before? Uh, no. I, no. Oh. It, I don't want to go either <laughs> oh, now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That place has been around. I know what place you're referencing. I'm not going to say the name, um, but that place has been like the gay bar yeah. for a while. I always feel weird about going to a gay bar without at least one gay person yeah. because I feel like it's like the frat party they're gonna stop you at the door who do you know here I was like I feel like I'm appropriating a culture or you something. absolutely you know, are I don't yeah. wanna go in there and like be like oh and they're like yo we made these bars so you don't you know you got your own bars yeah let us have this yeah you know so I you know but Pete had a reason to be there so I could just be like oh cause he's know. gay no because well you know it's possible <laughs> anything is possible anything is possible I mean it's also it's early yeah um, but uh, yeah so we went it was a lot of fun uh, also have these like seltzers. They're called like uh, free plug, like neutrals or something. They're oh, actually, I saw I, I saw those. Yeah, the, they're mad good. They're like it's like a bear looking can. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yo, seen they them. were the fire. Really? Yeah. I was I, like, oh, you I'm know, I'm not a seltzer boy, so yeah, I they were stay away. They were pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've told a story on the podcast about my time going to a gay bar. I've been to the same gay bar multiple times uh-huh. um, during college, and it was like. The most stereotypical, like what you see in movies and TV shows, like that times fucking 20. Was it like a a club atmosphere? Yes. So it had like the bar section and then it had the dance, but like it was separated by like a partial wall. So like you couldn't like see the bar really that well when you were on the dance floor and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And like the lights were low, strobe lights, you know, great music fucking playing the bangers nice. you know this was a time during college where everyone was like oh we're just gonna play like house music versions of cool songs where this one was like no like you're getting the hits all the time call me maybe call- five times in a row it was before call me maybe but Damn. like i want to dance with somebody you Oof. know like it, uh it's rain men wow let's get loud oh these are gay anthems these are like just forget about gay anthems anthems yeah you know and uh it, it was like on the dance floor, fucking some of the most, like, legitimately one of the most fun nights I've ever had in my entire life. Because it was just fun. Like, people were drinking, dancing. Yeah. Like, it wasn't to the point where, like, people were like, oh, my God. Like, you're going to get, like, aggressively hit on. Like, that whole fucking myth about, you know, gay men being, like, hypersexual and, like, not understanding boundaries. No, I think... No, I, the uh, boundaries thing, I'm not going to agree to, but I do think they're hypersexual. Well, they're just finally able to fucking... They lived in hiding for years because they thought they were going to get, you know, chained to a car and dragged. Well, yes, but I also just think they like fucking. Well, I, and I, sucking. I, not more than the normal person. And douching. That might be more than the normal person. Just saying. You need to do that in necessity, though. Well, well not a uh, courtesy, I would say. It's, uh, well, I mean, the normal... Like, look at any form of media. There's people fucking sucking and 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 you know bucking in every version of everything what's bucking you know and uh when the people that are you know 
there's some fucking representation of people that are gay doing that. Everyone's like they're hypersexual. No, pretty, pretty, pretty probably the same as everybody else. I know, dude. Every gay person I've had conversations with when they're like on Grinder, they're like, I can go get a bludge right now. If Wait I a second, to. you've been on Grinder? No, I said no. That's not what I'm saying. People who have Grinder. Oh yeah, yeah. They're you know I mean they're a very outward and forward uh, community. They like to let it all known. There was a, a someone that we knew that I don't know if they're if they're transitioning now or if they're I, I, I honestly don't know you know what their current situation is. Um, but I remember they came from a Lady Gaga concert, and I was like, oh, how was the concert? And they were like, a lot of sucking, and I was like, what? This was a concert. That's fire. A lot of sucking at a Lady Gaga concert, apparently. Yeah, Lady Gaga was like the. Uh... She she was like the gay president. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's I what I mean. Who's the gay president now? That's a great question. Lil Nas X, maybe. I feel like he's like sec def. What the fuck does that mean? Secretary of Defense. Oh oh. <laughs> it's probably still Lady Gaga, honestly. Yeah, I would say uh, pop. Lady Gaga. Well, she hasn't come out with a new song in a while now. Popular gay. Celebrities, let's look it up. Okay, do they have a ranking? Oh, Ellen, well, no, she's, she's gone. gone. She's gone. Wait, Jodie Foster's gay? She's been gay, dude. Panic Room? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's not a good person. Apparently, he like beats his. NPH. Uh, you know, I'm not really seeing. Definitely not Jim. Parsons. Big Bang guy. Raven Simone. Raven Simone's gay? I didn't know that. I mean, I did know that one. Whoa, Sarah Paulson's gay? Oh yeah, she's she's like with like a seventy-year-old woman. Dude, I'm just finding You're out. You're not all finding this. this out. Matt Balmer, Cynthia Nixon. Cynthia uh, Nixon's gay? Yeah. Kristen Stewart knew that one. I mean, Adam Lambert, we know is gay. Also, how about that guy, dude? Dude, out of control. He's Freddie Mercury. Dude, I mean, listen, I you know how I am about Queen, my favorite band of all time. He's got some pipes on. He's got pipes. He's got it going. I would love to go to a Queen concert. Are they still touring? Um, they actually just no. I don't know. I can't. They speak may to have that. wrapped it up. If you if you get concert tickets to Queen and you don't bring me, literally, so help me God, I'll be mad at you for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, Elliot Page. Yeah. I don't know who's like the leader now. Um, I, I'll have to speak to someone. In the Whoa, community. the fucking Prison Break guy was gay. Oh yeah, Wentworth was. Miller. Ricky Martin, bro. That's my god. Yo, look at look at that. Honestly, Man. if I were to if I were to elect as, you know, that's my as type. someone not in the community, yeah. and I choose to lead that community, because yeah. that's what we do in our country. Ricky Martin? Ricky Martin's the leader. Probably. I didn't I'm, know I'm an old soul though. I did not know Lily Tomlin was gay. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I feel like the current gay like the like president is like Adele. She's not gay, but what the hell? She just she leads? No. I didn't know Ezra Miller was uh, I didn't know that. Uh, I think I knew that. Good for that. Oh, Ian McKellen, bro. Dude, listen, I'm not going gay for many people. Yeah. Ian McKellen? Uh, Gandalf? <laughs> Come on. And he, like, is like, f oh my God, I love him so much. Who, Gandalf? I, I just love Ian McKellen. He's just, he's funny. Um, I don't know. There we go. Yeah. But uh, good. I'm glad you, I'm glad you had your, your first experience. Oh, at a gay also, bar. so, like, all jokes aside, not that I've been joking about it, but like, it was. It was. Re I really thought it was. A lot, it was really cool because the the bar. Like I said, the bartender and the uh, the host were also like just really funny the entire time. And it was also like a chill vibe. Like imagine going to a, a like a dive bar, but there was two comedy acts going on the entire time. Like it was. It was like that. Yeah. And then I went to the bathroom, and there was a mural on the wall with just legitimate flying dicks. And I have a picture of it. That's kind of cool. Why? What's wrong with that? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm I saying know, I, 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 I hear, walk I hear, in. I hear the tenor of your voice, and I know exactly what you're saying. I walk in and see a bunch of flying dick, Frank. Caught me by surprise. I mean, look at all those dicks. And there's a lot of representation with those dicks because there's uncircumcised, there's circumcised. There's definitely, I see there's a chode right there in the bottom. There's a big fat one. There's a big fat old thing. That's there's like a, droopy. You got a curved boy. Yeah. I mean, obviously leading the pack in the middle is just... Just a regular, you know, a just textbook. A, just big old Sasquatch. Yeah. Um, this is this is great art. You know what it reminds me of? Mm -hmm. Super bad. Yes. Yeah. Literally, that's what when it looks like. When he's drawing all those big, veiny, triumphant bastards all over his, like, Ghostbusters lunchbox and shit like that. Yeah. I and mean, it's like, oh, this one's got a huge balls. You see, they, they were, like, thought of everything over there. Well, a very inclusive dick drawing, Well, I, would say. I mean, you know, that community tends to be more inclusive because they understand what it means to be, you know, ostracized. So, Joey. I went to the bathroom, 
came out, drank a bunch of those seltzers, got the hiccups, Irish exited. And I was like, Venmo me. I can't breathe. Typical Joey move. When I get, I can't breathe when that happens. I went to the, I went to the store actually, and I got a baked egg and cheese at like 2 a.m. and ate oh. it. I, ne- I haven't done that in years. It was so good. Dude, a bacon, egg, and cheese. Po- Literally, the best time for bacon, egg, and cheese is before 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. and after 8 p.m. Uh, I'll go 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to 5 a- 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 and 9 p.m. Outside of that boundary, that that 9:01. To 4.59 or whatever other time I just said. 7.59. The fuck are you talking about? It's oh. time for a bacon egg. You just confused me. So just say in the after, when you're drunk hours. Okay. That's it. I mean, well, Joey. Yeah. You could be drunk anytime. Trust me. Yeah. Drunk right now. So. Imagine. No, I wish. Remember the Patreon where we got drunk? Oh, man. That was a problem. <laughs> we did a, uh, a uh, what's that called? A power hour, um, which is like you take a shot of beer every minute for an hour and we did it for an hour and a half i think we did it for a while because like we missed some time in there but go check it out patreon.com by the end of that there. we were having like <laughs> weird conversations though yeah our our drunk episodes people love them mm-hmm. but like afterward you and i are just like we need to review that yeah. we, need to, we, need to, <laughs> we need to go through that with a fine tooth comb <coughs> yeah that was fun um we should do another one of those around christmas uh, oh with eggnog no <laughs> With the eggnog seltzers. No. Ew. We have to try those. I'm not doing that. Okay. I will say this. We should do it with seltzers, though. Because you I'm get letting, fucked up. I'm letting you know. Yeah. I don't drink, period. So if I do a power hour, I will be hurt. Yeah. I don't drink seltzers. Right. So if I did a power hour with seltzers, yeah. I swear to God, you're losing every brand that has to deal with the <laughs> show. So yeah. fucking help me, guys. It'd be great. It'd I mean, it's great. Patreon. What are they going to do? Hey, man. I don't know. Um, but why? You think you're going to like say a bunch of offensive things? Is that what you're saying? No, not offensive. Just like just uh, ridiculous. Off-color stuff. Like I'll say one right now. You ready? No. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just read the lyrics then because there is a new Kid Rock song, Joey. Oh, my God. Please, before we get to that, because Frankie surprised me with that. We have to get to, the, to some ads first. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the first one being Better Help. Uh, if you're out there and you... Uh, you know, are looking for some therapy, you can get some therapy with BetterHelp. Start there. It's great. Uh, they have a bunch of uh, professional counselors who will talk to you through your stuff. And uh, yeah, they will start communicating with you in just under 48 hours. And uh, you can switch from therapist to therapist to find the right fit for you. And uh, yeah, join the uh, millions of people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Like I said, I've been in, I've said this numerous times, I've been in therapy for a while now. It is amazing. I suggest it to everyone. A couple of my friends actually just started doing therapy recently uh, and they love it. So definitely go check it out. Uh, go to betterhelp.com slash yard. You'll get 10% off of your first month. Um, so yeah, go check out therapy, man. It's good for everyone. Everyone should be in it. Betterhelp.com slash yard. 10% off of your first month. Uh, try it out. See what's going on. Uh, yeah. Uh, and next we have stamps.com. Stamps.com gives you exclusive discounts with uh, USPS, UPS, and DHL. Um but yeah, go on there. You go on the website. You have to print anything this holiday season or shipping anything. I mean, we're going to be buying and selling things. You know, and if you have a small business, especially, uh, this is very useful um, because you could print uh, postage from you know your own home, which is amazing. Uh, you just print the label, stick it on, schedule a pickup or a drop off. You know, you don't have to rush around doing holiday traffic or wait on long lines at the post office or anything like that. You could just do it from the privacy of your own home. Um, also, it saves you time and money there's exclusive uh discounts on the site that you don't get uh up to 40 percent off usps and up to 76 percent off ups rates so it's also great and there's no risk uh in the with the promo code basement you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free shipping credits and a digital scale no long-term commitments or contracts uh you'll be up and running in minutes uh so yeah just go to stamps.com click on the microphone at the top of the home page and type in basement that's stamps.com and the promo code is basement uh, so go check it out, fellas. All right, and women, fellas and women. Uh, yeah, Sp- uh, four week trial plus free shipping credits and a digital scale. Uh, Stamps.com promo code is basement. So get to it, folks. Joey. Yeah. I'm not a man of God, <laughs> <laughs> but when I tell you I prayed for a new Kid Rock song, yeah. My this is post. Um, my prayers were answered. 
Post him dropping hard f bombs. Uh, hard f bombs. Hard f bombs. Uh, which, uh, hey, don't do that on a stage, no like, less. And then doubling down in his response. Yeah, and then talking in like third person. Yeah, or first person. What is the difference? I don't know that. He like as. Kid Rock referred to his real name as yeah. like the person. So it'll be like if my like alter ego was like, you know, uh, I can't. Uh, what was the first thing that popped into your head? Just, Please just, tell me. I'm just going to type it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, you know, if I'm the factual one and that's my stage name oh my God. and I'm just like, yo, like, Tweet from the factual one. Frank Alvarez is not happy yeah. with what you said. What's third person or third first? Per- first person is saying like, I, me, I, I, I. Third is like Frank. Yes. yes. Like speaking to, about yourself as if you're right. not in the room. Yeah, like Joe is very upset. Yes, 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 yes. Got it. Um, and so he's a, so he's also a, a um, pretty, pretty staunch conservative. I think he's been pretty outspoken for, uh, wow, well, Donald J. Trump. Yeah, but also, you know. The guy's been rocking uh, Confederate flags. Before it was cool. I w- yeah, well, it was never <laughs> cool. Let's be honest about that. At one point in certain areas, it was cool. Well, yeah. And well, I also would say that it is probably cool in You some know when it was too. cool? Like pre-Civil War? Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. And then it not cool since. Well, then you lost. Well, <laughs> not so cool. <laughs> Just big old losers. Yeah, I don't, I don't like... I don't wear my Giants jersey on Mondays when we get. Well, I'm not gonna wear it on Tuesday after we get blown out tonight by the fucking I Buccaneers. I, I guess I'm uh, I'm primed to wear. <laughs> it's from the Jets. I'm wearing a Jet sweatshirt. I guess I'm primed to be a fucking hey, man. super, you know, uh, Civil War uh, reenactor or like appreciator. Yo, I would love to go to one of those things. You've been? I went to World War II weekend, Joe. What the fuck is that? It was uh, actually a really good... I have to say... It's it, like Art Basel before... I had a really good fucking time. It was in Reading, Pennsylvania of at course. an air base. Yeah. And a part of it was... First of all, I get there and I hear... Fire. And I'm like, what? And they're shooting like World War II guns, like MP40s, at fucking PPSHs. Oh, World War II? Yes. I, oh. I literally said World War II weekend. Yeah, I, I... You heard another war? Well, I was only thinking of like Civil War with like... And I get there... Well, yeah, the flout... It's stupid. That was the American Revolution where they were like, yo, we have to... Um, we need to follow behind our flute player into battle. And yeah. it's like, dude... It's like, wait, we're not ready. Where's the guy with the drum? It's like, bro, just go shoot. <laughs> just go. If there's anyone to not lead you into battle, it's a person playing a flute. Dude, you know what's the so most funny? Fa- like the most phallic besides like the oboe. You know, I don't even know what an oboe looks like. It's just like a, you know, like. <laughs> it's what it does. Careful. Oh. Um, no, I, I, I'm thinking about this right now, right? So obviously back in the day, for whatever reason, they were like, here's how we go to war. We have a guy with a flute, a guy with a drum, so there's nice some music going on. So they know that we're, and we're in bright red. Right. And then, <laughs> and then uh, you march in lines and you just go and you shoot and whatever. And the people in the front die, duh. And like, whatever. I'm, I think it's a funny thing to think about the first time that someone's like, why don't we just like hide? Yeah. <laughs> why don't we duck? Guys, guys, here's an idea. And then the other side was probably like, whoa, what are you, that's not supposed to, <laughs> you know? They're marching like, oh, through. Like, if you're going to break the rules, then we're going to break them. Big flags in bright red and bright blue with a fucking beep, 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 beep. Yeah. And they're like. Shit, they're coming. Like, yeah. how does that like, like when you hear that, you're not like, oh, it doesn't fucking like rain terror upon you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, play something like Rob Zombie or something. Yeah, like if something like the first people to come through, which is like, you know, like that would be fucking badass. Or just like that screamo music. It's just like, and you're like, yo, fuck, everyone run. It's like Mad Max. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be sick. The, yeah. fucking, the drummer has blood from his mouth. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like blood coming out. Uh, but yeah, I went to World War II weekend, and when I got there, I'm walking through. Whose side were you on? Did you buy merch? Uh, first of all, whose side? <laughs> <laughs> I will say, it was very jarring to look over and see a guy in a full Nazi getup, like, sitting on top, like, just stoic, sitting on top of a fucking tank. Damn, dude, you gotta like. We, you need to ease into that. <laughs> how do they uh, draft for that? You know what I mean? Like, how do you get hired as a? Well, I'll be, I'll be the Nazi. I'd make a. Great, I'll do it. I'd make a great. <laughs> Watch how. Look at my face. 
I'm like, damn, Dude, yeah. That's, that's almost like good Nazi face. That's, a, that's Nazi-esque. Uh, uh-oh. What? I'm getting a phone call. That's all right. I'll silence it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I went and I was walking through and I was like, yo, like, there were, like, actors, like, sitting and, like, cleaning their guns and, like, eating beans out of a can. And I'm like, yo, like, they're, like, into it. I was, like, looking oh, at the buildings. I was like, wow. Like, they're really – all of a sudden – I'm walking through. I'm wearing, like, a fucking, like, sh- like shorts and a T-shirt. Yeah. I hear, get down! Get, 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 get. I walked through – accidentally walked through the reenactment. So they're, like, throwing, like, fake grenades at each other and shooting, like, fucking, like, blank rounds and shit like that. It was an experience. Hey man, there's been some stuff in the news recently where blank rounds yeah. mistakes happen. Yeah. Well, I, I thankfully at the time they didn't for me. Yeah. Uh, but so they're just like firing up, bro, and they're like super into it. Like you'll be like, "Hey man, you guys did a great job." And it was like, "I need to get back to my old gal. She sent me this picture." Hey. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, <laughs> that's how they spoke. They were like super fucking into it. It's like, and they were like kids doing it too. Children? Yeah, like kids. They'll be like, you know, like little like newsboys. Like, oh. like read all about yeah, it. Yeah, like extra, extra. The diamonds is here. Yeah, yeah. You know, they were fucking super into it. But it was an experience. Quite like this song. Yeah. So when I told you about this, I said, don't fucking look into it. Don't watch. Don't listen. He just texted me. He's like, Kid Rock has a new song. Have you heard it? And I was like, and then I, what I say? He said, I, I never thought I'd get this text message. <laughs> And I was like, obviously I haven't heard it. But from the get-go, it is just absolute, just fucking electricity. Right. Unfortunately, we can't show the video or play the song. But we well, but we have the lyrics. We are going to watch the music video with the volume off, and then Frankie's going to read the lyrics yes. to so, me. Yes, so, I mean, from the gate. Yeah. From the gate, the song is called Don't Tell Me How to Live. So, I'm going to say this. Go ahead. The guy gets on stage, drops a hard F-bomb. Uh, then, you know, people are like, Yo, next piece dude, of media. chill. You have to assume that this was the next day he went into the studio. Uh, and well, did no. This. So it's, it's uh, featuring someone by the name of Monster Truck, which, listen up. If you're going to do that and you're going to speak out and say some pretty uh, homophobic slurs, um, don't have the next thing you do feature someone named Monster Truck. Also, don't have the name Monster Truck. Not good for your uh, brand uh, or the marketing. It sounds like the laziest joke that I could make about like some hick yeah. fucking some, guy. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure when making fun of country music, I've been saying like, oh, and the newest song, singer on the block, Monster Truck. Like yeah. It's just too It writes itself. But my understanding is this guy, Monster Truck, uh, or vehicle... Um, made this song years ago and Kid Rock was like, yo, do you mind if I bless it with my own verses? Nice. And it, we got this. So this guy was was not living by the rules that society puts like before it was cool. Well, he doesn't want anyone to tell him how to live. I don't think anyone uh, will. So um, I'm going to play the video as I'm reading to you. So, for, I mean, first off, starts off, fuck all you hoes, Detroit till I die, motherfucker. Well, well, Detroit till he dies. Uh, here's Kid Rock. I mean, our boy, just in front of a bunch of TVs. And uh, I'm not going to say... Wait, if you backed up a little bit, I think I just saw Joy Behar's you head. You absolutely did see Joy Behar's head. Joy Behar, co-host of The View. Yeah. Uh, right there. Yeah. I mean, uh, pretty pretty clear uh, what he feels about that show. Uh, and then look at that. Oh, that's a video, that's a video of, of, him. of him saying the F-bomb. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so we, we know what this is about. Well, we, we can already... So... Uh, here we go. Uh, just comes right in. There's our boy Kid Rock. I mean, and he's 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 in full Kid Rock fashion too. Yeah, um, a Detroit bad boy shirt. That's a good shirt though. Stupid hat. Yeah, those hats really got uh, go. fur coat. And the man to his right, introducing Monster Truck. Monster Truck. Uh, just you know, beard. Exactly what you would expect someone named Monster Truck to look like. Cowboy hat, long beard. Um, oh my god, there's a child with a trophy that says most likely to not give a fuck. Yeah. Is that for the child? Uh, well, I would assume so. <clears throat> uh, so the lyrics Jesus, here... punch that kid. I'm a moonshine sipper straight slipping into darkness. Far from harmless, I'm more like the sharpest. Tool in the shed, no, I haven't been the smartest. Could have told you that. I, I You know what? So far, <laughs> it's, on, a, it's a good song. I have to admit, I'm on board... Like, he's not wrong. I think that he does sip moonshine. He does look like he, he does. He absolutely is not the smartest. Uh, he's slipping into darkness. 
Well, make no mistake. Been I, there. Been there. Uh, well, you know. If everyone slips into darkness every so Make often. no mistake, I hit the fucking hardest. Oh. Devil without a cause, you heard me screaming, and 20 years later, bitch, I still fucking mean it. He's been around. He had a Devil Without a Cause. That was his old album. Well, I didn't know that. I think. Uh, oh, there's, there's, uh, oh, there's buddy, Monster there's Truck. There's Monster Truck. You know what? Monster Truck <clears throat> looks like. Who's the guy who's in Stranger Things? Uh, Harbor. Harbor. D- absolutely does not. Kind of does. I'm gonna pull out some uh, just old fucking you know old uh, uh, show for everyone. There was a guy from Viva La Bam called Rake Yawn. That's exactly who this guy looks like. Just. Gross. What is you referencing Viva La Bam recently? <laughs> Listen up, man. He was a time <laughs> of my life. Watching that at home? Time of my life that I'd love to have back. There he is. That's not Harbor, dude? Na- that's not. That's Monster Truck. Well, yes, that is Monster Truck. Pentagram on his shirt. For some reason, he doesn't like Omaha. Wait, does that say... F- what is that? Oh, that's uh, Omaha crossed out? In a pentagram. This guy's got some beef with Omaha. And just playing guitar. Wait, where, where is Omaha? Nebraska. Don't ask me where that is. Weird. Yeah, um, that's over there. Uh, so, uh, moving on. Yeah. Uh, motherfucker, you ain't never met a motherfucker like this. <laughs> Kiss my ass and you could suck a dick sideways. Yeah. My way or the highway. Listen up. Ain't nothing changed here. I still don't give a fuck. Okay. Now I'm getting, I, I get what he's saying. Like, it's, it's a little easy to understand his thought process here. How do you suck a dick sideways? Pretty, you, you, you either turn sideways or you turn the person sideways. So I'm, so... But he's telling me you, I I could suck a dick. You lay down. I like that he's not telling me to do it. He's like, you can. It all depends on the perpendicularity, y'all. Like, are you going with a your, right triangle? Yes. Are you going down? Are they going sideways? Vice versa. It's a geometry lesson. Um, I will say though, like I said, he's not saying you know suck a dick. He's saying you can. You can, which is nice. I it's mean, it's a little more progressive than I think Kid Rock would be. It's you know, it's the option that you know is what people really enjoy. By the way, Jesus in is a, he in, in a church? He's in a church. Jesus in a chain right behind him, uh, up high too. Which I mean, listen up. I mean, maybe it's not a chain. Maybe that this this pff, this reminds me of that scene in uh, Hannibal where he has the guy string yeah. strung up. Oh yeah, that might be what he's going for here. His maybe artistic some... image is trying to be Hannibal. Hannibal Hannibal stuff. Yes. Let's get some more lyrics here. Um. Uh. Uh. uh so what the fuck's up with all this backlash? You snowflakes. Here's a news flash, and then. In comes Monster Truck. Ain't nobody going to tell me how to live. That's a solid So far. Verse. So far. I get it so you, far. You know, you might not agree with the way he's saying it, but he's just saying like, hey, I'm being me. Yeah. So I kiss my ass. Oh, man, it gets better. Yeah, here we go. Uh, years ago, we all thought it was a joke, see, that every kid got a motherfucking trophy. Oh, my God. But yo, homie, here's the situation. A nation of pussies is our next generation. Damn, now he's talking about... Is he talking about me? He's offending me a little he's bit. He's calling me a pussy? There's something in here that might, you know... I will say something. I will beat the brakes off a of Kid Rock. Well, not, apparently he hits the fucking hardest. Apparently not. I will beat I, the brakes off this old fuck. You can't really tell. There are... there are. Look at that. Yo, Kid Rock looks like an old fucking dog. He looks like a fart walks. <laughs> what does that even mean? That's it. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, he... he that, the, I gotta admit, the jacket I'm all about... It's a good jacket. Wait, oh, did you see it? Yeah, those were cowboy guns. Well, I've had those same guns for Halloween when I was like four. Um, those are pretty big guns, Joey. Look at those things. Yeah. All black, eagle belt, which looks too close to the Nazi imagery. Uh, you know, like the Nazi like eagle that they had. They have. They had eagles. They had a bird on their their uh, stuff. I'm only familiar with the swastika. Yeah. Um. So you know. That's a nice red suit. That looks the, like it's made out of fruit roll-up. But now he comes in with leather. Yeah, now he's got a Sherpa Yeah, He's got a vest. He's got a Sherpa vest. (laughs) And blue jeans. Those look like bell bottoms also. Somehow, America has evolved to this being what people think of when they think of rednecks. Not like plaid and straw in their mouth. It's it's Kid Rock. I don't know, man. Kid Rock. All right, let's get to this this other. And these minions and their agendas, every opinion has a millennial offended. But this Amendment 1, it rings true, and if it don't descend, bitch, then C number 2. What does that even mean? Oh, he's saying, the, it's my freedom of speech. You don't like it, C... Number 2? Number oh, 2. the guns. Second Amendment. I can bear arms. Right to bear arms. Yeah. Uh, and he does have bear arms in this video. He's wearing a Sherpa vest, like we got, said. He's got more, like, sloth arms. Uh, but look at those dance moves. My God. Look at him go. Um... He's, you know, he's just saying that. I just want to say, a millennial offended, though. Joey, that's you. I hate to say it. 
He, me? You're you're a millennial. I think he's talking about you, but you're way more sensitive than me. You're way more sensitive than me. That's not true at I, all. Oh, there, you saw that Joey Behar's back. Where, where? There's the view. Oh, he you had to blur see, it out. He had to opaque it a little bit. Honestly, that's not really, uh, you know, rock and roll of you. I, well, yeah, to put, you know, I'm the baddest motherfucker, but I'm putting a clip of the view. It like, puts blurred out. Blurred out. Yeah. It's like, just, dude, just, just say it. Just yeah. say their name. Make a diss track. Yo, honestly, boy. It, and he just double middle finger too. Dude, if you were really hardcore, you would have a animated video of you peeing on Joy Behar or something. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the only way to do it. Right. Uh, I am here for the diss tracks from Kid Rock to Joy Behar and back. Yo, if Joy Behar dropped some fire <laughs> shit. Letting you know. Yo, she wouldn't even have to make it. If, if Joy Behar dropped anything, that even if it was bad, his life would be over. Uh, ain't, uh, ain't nothing new. Right church, wrong pew. Get a clue or prove your fake news and views. Can all kick the bottom of my motherfucking shoe. I'm the least of a few. Still screaming, fuck you. Yeah. I I mean he's kind of he's not wrong. Yeah. Um but he, he I think I think at this point it's just like he's in a bar with people drinking beer. Colt look at that. Colt 45 in a can. I will say this entire video is filled with and I'm not like joking when I say this I'm being dead serious and I've been in some grimy places. These are all things and people that I would never ever like. I will say this whole video smells like cigarettes and like old pizza. Yep. And I will tell you right now, as someone that has drank Colt 45 out of a can, it just brings with you a whole bunch of sadness. Yeah. Nothing about this says, like, I want to go. And let's, if we want to get technical, that guy's American flag is backwards on a shirt. It's supposed to be with the stars on the other side because the show's moving forward. Just want to put that out there. Is that true? There's the trophies that he was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you can see, they're, like, graded like they're, like, TV trophies. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, back to Kid Rock. Kid fucking Rock. Yeah. Social media sucks. That is one He's of the best. He's wearing a shirt that says social media sucks? Yeah. Dude, that is the whiniest thing I've <laughs> ever seen ever. And he's doing it over, which is hysteric. That clip that, is unbelievable. It's incredible. When Trump got elected and that girl was just like, no! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah was, to me, I was like, yo, chill. Yeah, but ain't pulling no punches there. Oh, that just says CNN. Just says CNN, NBC. He's just going after all the networks. What did Lauren Michaels do to you? Man? Yeah, well, not Lauren Michaels. The, That's White, the House. White House. He's going after Sleepy Joe here. Joe. Yeah, this he is, is a diss track to half of America. Yeah, I guess so. And if no one responds, the coolest part about this is that he really thinks that he's like, like really like getting at people. Oh, he is. Oh, but I'm. I know you're not get, get getting at. Yeah, I'm you've not, not been added. I've not been gotten. You've not been gotten added. Uh, but there are other people. And listen, I need the most hyper-liberal person to ha just respond with a diss track. I'm talking like Rosie O'Donnell. And you have to do it with someone with a name that's like as liberally... Like Tulip Pussy. Yeah, like something like... Like it can't be Monster Truck. Like that's the equivalent. That's like, the equivalent of super right wing. Yeah, it's got to be like, you know, cr Cry Baby. I don't know. No, no, that's not it. I don't know. A s snowflake Snow something. A snowflake. The tulip snowflake or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Tulips are a real liberal flower. Yeah, are they? Um, what's like they... A, what's a conservative flower? Something oh, with thorns or something? Yeah, oh, daisy. A no, what? So that's white. a dainty one. Uh, overall spray painted with cocky and Kid Rock's face on it. Did you say cocky? That's what it says. Oh, wow. Oh, I, wow. What I don't, the fuck? I don't want to wear a lot of things. I need to bring overalls back. I would love to wear a pair of overalls and pull them off. Let's make it work. All right, can we get to this last this last bit here? I want to read some. Well, there's there's a part that, that I need you to see. Uh, the guns, there he is. Um, you know, he's just still going through it on motorcycles on a ranch. I mean, you 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 get you get the imagery here. It's Kid Rock. He, but there is a part. There's where he's saying, you know, to my boot, you know, lick my fucking shoe or whatever. Yeah, but, he said, kick my shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can keep on reading. He said, kick the bottom of my shoe, whatever that means. Um. You never tell me shit. You never flip my script. But I'm more outrageous than a Vegas strip, dude. That <laughs> sucks. Uh, <clears throat> you're like Mayberry, bitch. I'm hard and crisp. I'm hard and crisp. What's Mayberry? Let's Google that, bro. What's hard and crisp? Mayberry, Mayberry, North Carolina. That's a place. Fictional community that was in the setting with American television sitcoms, the Andy Griffith show. Oh, he's trying oh, to say, like, you're soft. You're soft. Baby shit. Oh, yeah. You're a happy neighborhood. You're a Mayberry bitch. I'm hard and crisp. High-risk hillbilly, but I'm filthy rich. He, I don't know about that being yeah, he, extremely nah, he true. Might, he might be right. Uh, you're like Millie Vanilli. Kind of silly and shit. 
I'm like Shotgun Willie smoking fillies and shit. I'm going to say this. Yo, this is so corny, dude. I'm going to say this. Yeah. Millie Vanilli is a little silly. Oh, very silly. It's a silly name, right? Silly, silly Millie Vanilli. When you hear Millie Vanilli, if you don't think of vanilla ice cream... Oh, my God. I think of a very small vanilla ice cream. Oh, right, like a little Millie, mini Millie little Vanilli. Mini, mini Vanilla. Um, keep going. <laughs> I'm like Reverend Ron or David Lee Roth. Like Springsteen, bitch. I'm the motherfucking boss. Springsteen also isn't... He like well-documented as like liberal? Super liberal. Yeah. James Dean shit. I'm more like Brad Pitt. You're not like any of this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, he looks like Brad Pitt's... Oh, I'm not going to say it. Go on. <laughs> a little less pretty, but I sling more dick. Bro, time. now I got a fucking problem. No, that's a good line, Joey. He said, James Dean shit. I'm more like Brad Pitt. A little less pretty, but I sling more dick. Bro, I will literally bet every dollar I have that you don't sling more dick than Brad Pitt. How dare you? And I will bet both that I have to agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, twang more riffs. I slide through grass. I rip more lines than a 10-pound bass. Pass the mic. I'm like slow, slow gin, gin, fit. Slow gin fizz. Ain't nobody and ain't nobody ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. Uh, I I mean I, I he's just just saying like yo I do so much coke, dude. This is so like he thought he did something with this. He really did. I, I mean he did. I have to admit this is this you know this is gonna be the fucking graduation song for also, so many people in Alabama. Monster truck, not really. I thought he'd be bigger. Uh, Monster Truck is not very big, but this is the part that I needed to show you because it is too electric to not show you. So, um, uh, Ashley Emily Demon Camp, uh, is uh, the news reporter here. That's her name. Yes. So, just so everyone knows, the music video cuts to a what breaking Frankie's news segment. About. Yes, yeah. and it's at News Live. Ashley Emily Demon Camp. Uh, uh, and it's Demon Camp. <laughs> yeah. Kid Rock it lifts off. And it's a rocket in the middle of a forest. Oh my god, bro. Is this fucking serious? Kid Rock. Can I explain? Yeah. So like Frankie said, there's a breaking news segment se segment in the middle of this. And it's like, oh, the Kid Rocket is taking off. And then it shows a rocket lifting up. And then it's him with bla black wings. Like he's a girl being the black swan on Halloween. Yep. Sitting on top of a middle finger. Rocket. Middle finger rocket that is rocketing towards Mars. <laughs> you're, and he's you holding a you're burying the lead, Joey. He's, he's holding a bottle of Jim Bean and shooting a gun. Yeah. If that is not the most, the funniest part about that is that they had to shoot that on green screen. So he was trying to act. Oh, now it's flying over <laughs> the fucking uh, what is this shit called again? Yep, yep, yep. What is this called? I'm bugging. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I was going to say, you kidding me? It's flying over Mount Rushmore now. I'm thinking about him being in studio and being like, yeah, yeah. fuck the snowflakes. It's like you're riding a middle finger. I Listen, I'm not, I'm not one to – I have to admit. I will say this too. For a guy who is not very fond of the gays, riding a finger <laughs> – Riding a finger wearing to Mars, wings, Fucking gay, Kid Rock. <laughs> Fucking gay, dude. Okay? I don't know what you think, but if you have a problem with gay people and you're riding a middle finger wearing wings yeah. like a Victoria's Secret angel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's riding it to the moon. Uh, to, to the Mars, moon! To Mars! To Mars! Further than the Bro, moon! Bro, you're going to tell me at that gay bar you didn't hear one person said, ride my finger to Mars? Uh, dude, no. It probably wasn't as gay as Kid Rock. <laughs> That uh, is unbelievable. That's one of my... This is hands down. There's two old men having a, a, an arm wrestling match in this yes, video. Yes, they are. Who directed this? A seven-year-old? There's also a pit bull in sunglasses. Wearing which, Oakleys. Yeah. That dog is so racist looking. It's crazy. <laughs> and there's a MAGA hat. There's got to be at least one in there. I mean, yeah. Wait, why are they... Now they're showing some discourse here. The guys oh, were fighting over money. Because men fight, you idiot. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. I'm a millennial offended... Uh, and men are just bare chested in overalls too. He's now he's in space riding the middle finger too. Well, no, it looks like he's actually he might have. It looks like he's like just floating through space. His rocket might have malfunctioned. It may have run out of gas. Yeah, may hey be. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say maybe and hey, but may hey be. Uh, Yo, looking down is... the barrel of a shotgun, you see two of Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Oh, and now he's. What the fuck is this? Yo, this has to be a joke. 
Nope. Kid Rock is one of those dudes who feel like, yo, just middle finger everything. It's going to be awesome. Like, I, this is cool. I have to admit. Oh, his dick was out there. Uh, this is the... That's the line about Coke. Oh, that's nice. the line about the lines. This is hands down the, the most worst. incredible. Oh, wait. Let's see who we got in the this back is so there. Cr- wait, is that Jeffrey Epstein? Wait, no. That looks like... That looks like the guy from Spider-Man 3 that says, where is my rent? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't, but that's funny. You're typing in, where is my rent? You're going to know exactly. Holy shit, it does look like him. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Boy. Yeah, I don't know. Just don't tell him how to live, man. I mean, oh, he's on Mars. He made it to Mars. Oh, he's on Mars the rover. Now. The rover found him on Mars. And he's smoking and sitting on Mars. And then that's it. That's it, man. Listen up. That was probably the shittiest fucking idea Whoa. you ever had there, Kid Whoa. Rock. Whoa. Hold on. You're going to tell me that that is not one of the most iconic songs you've ever heard. You're lying to yourself. I definitely want to listen to it. Be honest. Is it like, does it sound like it good? absolutely slaps. Yeah? It fucking fire. slaps, dude. He's like, and you put it in the like you sound like one biscuit well it's kind of similar genre uh yeah and uh by the way since we're in the realm of music guess what came out 20 years ago today creed singing at the thanksgiving day game between the cowboys and somebody else you've seen that right is there something special about it it's creed i know creed singing live yeah. Can you take me higher? And someone on a trapeze thing going like that. And Scott Stepp like, Ugh! I like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, boy, I mean, you already know that that is going to just be the most well-supported Listen, video of all time. He's Kid Rock. He does what he wants. Have you? And by the way, do you want to really quick? I, I need to show you this. The comments on the video. Oh my God. Are they good? Oh. It's like, yo, he, he's right. Um, this is the kid rock that I missed and needed back. Badass. I love the lyrics. Thanks, Salty. Who's Salty? I don't know. Is that his like nickname? Truth. He nailed it and put a badass song to it. Our new anthem. <laughs> this guy says, I say this to my parents all the time. <laughs> as much as we love your country, this is the music we all miss. <laughs> salty Army approved. Is he the Salt Army? I don't know. He's a salty colonel? I I honestly have no idea. Man, I just can't... Keep spreading the salt, Kid Rock. I don't know. I guess he's like the salt bay. Goosebumps. Best new song I've heard in a long time. Wow. Yo, Kid Rock just kicked down the door. Voice of the people. What are you talking about? This is exactly what this country needs at this point in history. (laughs) This was awesome! Dude, uh, I mean... What a time. What a time to be alive. Oh, man. Look at this. I almost choked laughing when I saw that The Finger Rocket. Stay true, Kid Rock. Great song. Kid Rock for Congress 2022. We are, I would love we to see that. are legion. I would love to see Kid Rock hold office. And like the first thing he would do. <laughs> no, there's just one comment. Kid Rock is like 50 years old now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. He looks it, too. This has the musical genius of a used car lot commercial. <laughs> All right, since uh, you know we, we went there, let's get to these ads, and then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of wrap up with something um, pretty important at the end of this. How important? I'm kidding. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so we have two more ads for today. Uh, we have MVMT, so the holidays are coming up. This is a good uh, gift to get anybody out there. Uh, is you know MVMT? They have a lot of stuff. They have uh, blue light glasses, watches, uh, you know, some jewelry. It's it's really nice, but go check them out. Uh, they introduced some of their most innovative and premium materials yet this year, as well as uh, some of their most epic uh, special edition releases. Uh, ocean Plastic Edition watch made from 100% recycled ocean plastic and features a solar-powered di- uh, dial. Uh, sustainable, water-ready, and stylish. Um, they have a bunch of stuff. I, I, I love MVMT because, of like I said, they, they have watches that are way more affordable than you would get in a department store. I'm talking about hundreds of dollars like four to five hundred dollars but these are at a discount and you're not uh sacrificing on the quality um so yeah go check them out mvmt i have a bunch of their blue light glasses also i don't know why i have more than one it's probably because i lose them i have one on my desk in my office and then i have another one like near my bed because i like to watch tv in the dark like an idiot 
but yeah, once you have the blue light glasses, you're good. You're not straining your eyes. It's great. They have some nice jewelry. Definitely uh, one of the places you want to go to uh, when you're holiday shopping. Go check out all their stuff and also, uh, you know, shop their biggest sale of the year before the rest at MVMT.com. Use the code BASEMENT at checkout uh, and get free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash BASEMENT. Again, that is MVMT.com slash BASEMENT. All right, go check them out, guys. Uh, and lastly here, we have MeUndies. Um, some of the most, you know, comfortable underwear I have ever worn in my entire life. They not only make underwear, but they have other stuff too that's also very comfortable, but their underwear is especially amazing. Um, they have a lot of cool patterns. Also a great stocking stu stuffer gift um, for people. Um, and they have a lot of cool patterns and they have sizes extra small to 4XL, so you can get them for everyone. A lot of people do like the matching family photos. I think I did that one year with my uh, my brothers and my brother-in-law. We had matching underpants, so we did that. Uh, but definitely uh, go check them out. MeUndies have a great offer for our listeners. Uh, for any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. Uh, yeah, to get 15% off, free shipping, 100% satisfaction guarantee, by the way. Uh, MV, uh, you go to MeUndies.com slash basement. That is MeUndies.com slash basement. Guys, you don't put anything else on your body. Get MeUndies, all right? Boys, girls, men and women, uh, they have it all. 15% uh, off MeUndies.com slash basement. Go get yourself some amazing underwear, okay? Um, and the last thing that I kind of wanted to get to before we, you know, wrapped up here mm. is that I got a DM, and it's a little alarming. I don't know if it's real or not. I'm going to lean that it's real because I choose that. Choose to believe in humanity. But I got a, I got a DM from someone, and it all it said was... Uh, you know what? I'm going to find it because I don't want to fuck it up. Here it is. Hi. Kim Jong-un is a fan of your show. He wants to be on it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Now, that didn't come from a verified uh, North Korean Instagram account or anything. Who did it come from? Someone with no picture. No no picture. But that kind of makes it more believable. Yeah, honestly, they're supporting their cause there a little bit. So, guys, apparently Kim Jong-un, big fan. Apparently. Hey, man. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Kim. I don't know what to say. I don't want to say anything bad. And kill us real easy. Well, not very easily. Well, pretty easily. If we were there, probably. I mean, yeah, yeah we go there. But like he, that, that'll be his way of getting us. I He'll be no like, listen, I want to be on your show. I'll fly you out. Would you, would you interview Kim Jong? I think there would be a language barrier. There, I, I, I don't <laughs> know. I mean, if Dennis Rodman can communicate with Oh, them, yeah, they're boys. I got to imagine that I can. Yeah. You know, I'm a little smarter than Dennis Rodman, I think. Hey, man. Not basketball-wise. He probably has me beat. I wouldn't say probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, maybe he does eat communication with, uh, you know. I... Can you imagine? Uh, uh, he, he won't come here. He can't. I mean, I also, gonna... I also have no plans to go to North Korea. Well, yeah, I don't think I want to... I've heard... So there was an episode of that show, Dark Side of the Ring. Yeah. I'll get the fuck off my thing. Um, and there was an... Ep they, one of the episodes is about a trip that WCW took to North Korea. Doesn't sound like anywhere I want to go, man. A lot of a lot of stuff. They just said like they would like take too long in the bathroom and like the people would like kick down the door with AKs, like, what are you doing in here? Like, yeah. I'm taking a like, big fat poop. Like, well, you never know, but like just just like weird, weird shit. And uh I, I would be too afraid. Yeah, no, and also like <sighs> they were like walking the streets and people were like afraid of them because like their media tells them like America like eats children. And like kills like innocent people. Do we do that? One of those two we do. Yeah, I know that. But uh, like, <laughs> do we eat children? Do we eat? I don't think we eat kids of like human kids. I mean, do we like probably there's like veal, it's baby cows. Oh yeah, that's fucked up. But man, I love veal. Peeps, those are baby chickens. That's fake. You know, uh, we eggs. Eggs. Fucking, we're taking their young. I'm talking about like real children. No, yeah, no, no, no. I, we just like there was like there's like a kidnap them or whatever there's a lot of kidnapping yeah going kidnapping on. is a real thing but um i don't i don't i don't think i mean listen if 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 you're really a fan of the show are you talking to kim yes send like a gift just like something that you think would be like something good i don't want anything you don't want anything i, I don't know if I, bro I, I would kim have jong-un to... sends un or ill i don't want to be offensive um un? okay uh ill was his father i think um, I don't know, man. I, I, <laughs> I'm not familiar with the family tree. Um, just like send like a Lamborghini. Also, <laughs> also, uh, 
I'm thinking like this, right? So, like, I mean, let's be honest. There's a 99% chance this isn't real. Always 1%. 1%. But I will say this. Yeah, it's so funny to imagine that someone sitting in their house, like, let's see if we can trick these guys. <laughs> With Kim it's Jong Un. Like, equally the most as random. Funny. It's equally as funny for Kim Jong Un to be sitting in, watching us in, the, in his quarters. Yeah. And just like being like, they're right. This is hilarious. They're right. American Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Just like, he's like, that is equally as funny as someone being like, we're going to fuck with them. Honestly, yeah. probably more funny. Yeah, maybe. So I, I kind of have to say, like, I take the, this as being real because. Mm -hmm. I think it's real only because it's really, like, it's difficult to come up with that person. It's so random. There could be so many other people that you could choose. There's also the possibility that, like, because my understanding is, like, uh, internet access in North Korea is very, uh, very strict. Mm. Someone, like, risked their life to tell us this. Well, no, it could just be someone from, a, from the block. I know, I know. What I'm saying, though, is, like, <laughs> the idea that, like, someone in North Korea was just, like, and, like, the door is getting, like, knocked down and, like, tear gas is coming through. It's like, I need to tell the boys from the basement yard. Yeah, yeah. You know? no, I, th I think that Kim could probably get in touch with us if he wanted to. Realistically, probably. But, like, there's no, like, verified way. Like, I don't think Kim Jong-un has a verified account on anything, right? Uh, I mean, you could... Maybe, like, 8chan, but... Just tweet me or something. <laughs> Just, like, yo, big fan... What were they Bro, can you imagine? I got a tweet, and it was it was from Kim Jong, and he was just like, "Oh, oh, oh Charlie, stop! Charlie, what are you doing? Stop, Charlie! Wow, that was really good. <laughs> really, I saw that going down. Why did he just walk in between cameras? Just to turn around, just to turn around and sit here again. Charlie, um, you're destroying the set, buddy. Sit down. Um, but <laughs> sorry, I saw that going down. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> that's my that's my payment. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Fuck. Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un. Jong 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 oh, you got a tweet from him. Oh, if I got a tweet from him, he was just like, yo, love the stuff, you know, big fan. I'd be like, I don't respond to this. It's like how every, like, person on social media that, like, has clout speaks to each other. Like, yo, keep it up. Keep up the grind. You're doing great. Let's Hit, hashtag. Let's link up soon. Let's link up soon? <laughs> like, if Kim Jong-un hit me and was just like, yo, let's link up soon. <laughs> One, I... <laughs> like I don't know and then two uh, you would have you'd have sleepy Joe Biden calling you up being like let's talk yeah he'd be like yeah, yeah. gotta help me out yeah I think a lot of people would hit me I would get like you know weird I don't want to be a part of this I really hope that he doesn't hit me oh up. man the American diplomat you know American diplomat to the relations of North Korea Joe Santagato can you imagine he's like yo I just want to come on your show talk about poo poo pee pee <laughs> It's like at the end, you'd be like, we had a really beneficial meeting with uh, Kim Jong-un. Uh, we've talked about the state of our current world. We played a five-minute clip of farting. <laughs> and um, that's all. Bow. Yeah, but and just, just bow. Bow and just walk away. What Do you yeah. think Kim Jong-un would be good on the show? No. Uh, if there was like a historical figure that we could like interview, like dead or alive. Joey. Yeah. I would interview so many people. Yo, get Abe Lincoln in here, I'm dude. A, yeah, that'd be too cool, though. He'd be like, uh, I... Nah, nah. I want to talk to Abe, dog. I would, I, that would be cool to talk to him, but like, what is he going to come and talk to us about? His hats. He's going to talk about how back then he fought for more of a centralized, you know, government. Don't get me started. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say up. this. People are going to get upset. Yeah. You know who would be awesome on the show? Good old D, DJT. Donald J. Trump oh. would be iconic on the show, and he would not even give a shit. Yeah, he, he probably he's probably the most entertaining president. I would say I would love to ask him if I could just ask him questions and let him just go like off would be great. I I'd mean, be like yo, I, I don't think you'll have to do much. A lot of the time, I'd just be like, bro, why? like, what's what you, up? Why? Be like the you gays. Know. Yeah, and like no. it's like, oh my god, how did we get there that quick? No, nah. what is this dog doing? Uh, but Donald Trump would be iconic on the show. You know it. I would want to talk to, like, uh, like I don't know, like Thomas Jefferson or something. And be like, yo, what's with all this stuff, bro? Chill. Yeah, just, like, call him out. I also would love to be, like, like if George Washington showed up or one of those guys. And I'd just be like, bro, what are you wearing? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't wear shit. We like don't that. wear that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you look weird. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. got too many layers. I'm like, with chill you. out. I'm with you on that one. I think... I would give him like a, a like a jacket. I would think go. like someone that like was like super like they thought like you're like oh my god there's so much beauty in the world and just be like yo we got to tell you some stuff yeah yeah you know like someone like like Mother Teresa 
have her come on the show and just be like, oh, boy, uh, you, you meant well. <laughs> Didn't do well. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, I think she did okay. Mother Teresa, she was like the nicest lady ever, wasn't she? Well, I think that was like what they use now. It's like the like the. But my understanding is there might have been some stuff in there that was like. Mm. Oh, I didn't know about any of that. Great. Don't don't quote me on it. I'm just saying it's possible. Okay. Um, yeah, I wasn't quoting you on any of this. I know. Dude. Well, you know, don't don't, <laughs> don't do as you do. We just broke down the new Kid Rock song. This is not the show for that. I think it might be the show for it. Could be. Uh, We're just gonna say it like it's real though, as we do everything. Yeah. I mean that's that's our that's our gimmick, Joe. Yeah. You know. Here we are. You know, we'd like to ask some Kurt people. Kurt Cobain. Some Have him on the show. Nah, that'd be a downer. That'd be a real sad one. He's a, yeah. Freddie Mercury? That'd be fun, dude. Have him take us to a gay bar. Oh, my God. Well, it'd be his house. Yeah. Um, that may be a lot for me. Yeah, that, that may be. That's probably the, not where I want to start. It's throwing you to the wolves, yeah. I would definitely need I mean, not me either. Why are you saying it like I'd be uh, cool with I, it? I you said it like that. <laughs> You're like, nah, you wouldn't be good <laughs> bigging yourself up. Hey, man, you're fine. No, not me. I don't uh, know. Um, anyway, I think we could wrap up, dude. We could. It's a fun episode. Listen, I mean, it'll come out after Thanksgiving. I don't know why you said that like a Canadian. Epi- episode. Yeah. It's like, it's a fun episode. Uh, F. Alvarez, 8085 on Twitter. Lee Frank Alvarez on Instagram and Twitch. I guess. And then, uh, I, I mean, for us, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. For happy you guys, happy Cyber Monday. What is it, Cyber Monday? Cyber Monday. Because uh, they're patrons. Go some buy some stuff. Patrons. Patreon.com slash a basement yard. Go check it out. You get this weekly episode a week in advance. So you're seeing this Cyber Monday, not when people go online and ask ASL and, you know, say like, oh, I'm touching my pee-pee hole. That's Cyber Sex. That's Cyber Sex Day. That's the next day. That's yeah. Cyber Tuesday. Well, that's every day, technically. What's up? Uh, and, uh, yeah. And then you get exclusive episodes every single Friday morning. So you can start and end your week with The Basement Yard. Go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Yeah, and uh, go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>